I hope y'all had a wonderful evening. Um, we kind of just did our videos, and I fell asleep before Kevin was even done. Um, I don't know what's going on with me. I fall asleep, and then I wake up after Kevin's done, which is between... Anywhere is between midnight and 2, and then I'm up till about 4 or 5. And then... Um, I'll go back to sleep. Actually, no, I'll fall asleep. Because I wake up about 4 or 5, and then I'm up till about 8 o'clock, and then I'll fall back to sleep for about an hour or so. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't fall back to sleep, so... I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm awake. My hand is real stiff, but uh, it's looking better with the dead skin and stuff. You can still see some of it, but my wrist is real stiff, and my thumb and everything just really is stiff and feels weird, but uh, I'm doing what I'm supposed to. I'm getting better at... I think that's a little bit further than it was when we got first got there. What do you think? Yeah, a lot better. So, and then... I can't do that with my right hand right now. <laughs> then I can straighten them pretty much and almost put them together. So... But... To me, it still looks swollen and misshapen, but I guess that might be the way it's going to always look. So, but it's been raining all night, been windy. It's still windy out there. Well, the rain, so, the wind is going to blow the clouds away. Yeah. So it'll be sunny today, but it might be cold. But I like the wind because I can hear my bamboo wind chimes. <laughs> I love that sound. So, how are you doing this morning, babe? Doing okay. Yeah. Up. Did a did a video walk through or drive through of Waukegan? I did. Okay. And. I don't know. But Is Waukegan still out? I, I mean, I don't have many choices anymore. So. So I have to get a job, and soon, because we have zero money. I, we've got nothing coming in. There was always something down the road that was going to keep us going until they get a job, but that's we're at the end of all of that. So. Can you take me on this video drive-through of Waukegan? Sure. Okay, let's say goodbye for now. Bye for now. It's not a very good drive through. Oh, look, tornado in Waukegan. Bye, guys. I'm a little nervous about uh, this drive through from through Waukegan. Um, luckily, we're taking the drive through from California, but if we don't come back, um, we're in Waukegan somewhere. Okay? Bye. So, this is what Tuesday looks like at the Casa de Neighbors. With an extra dog. Yeah, this kind of surprises me. These two seem to get along okay. Surprisingly. Where's my shadow? I don't know. Oh, interesting. Probably upstairs laying on Megan's bed because he's been doing that a lot. There's oh. Ebony at the at the food bar. Alrighty. So. Well, it is not quite evening. <laughs> and we haven't really done a lot today because the uh, proverbial stuff has hit the fan today. I'm telling you, if it can go wrong, it goes wrong for us. Um. Yeah. Megan and Brian left today to go down to his house, and it rained all night, so the roads were wet, and 
we get a phone call that they were in an accident. Um, they both were okay. They had their car towed because their car was inoperable. So they had the car towed and the Megan's car is totaled. And while they were having the car towed and went over to AAA or wherever they had to go to take the car, um, they were starting to feel aches and pains. Megan has a bruise across her chest from the seat belt. Um, so they decided to go and get checked out. I'm still waiting to hear back. So... <laughs> When is enough enough? When is enough enough? And I think we already told you that Kevin got turned down for his unemployment. Right. Um, I don't know what else to say. So basically this morning uh, I dove into applications and at this point I am applying for anything and everything. Um, I, I applied for Home Depot, if you can believe that. There is an HR position open, but um, I, and companies like that usually want kids. So, because it wasn't an advanced HR position, it was like an associate position. Um, so, and we talked about Waukegan, I, how I've been avoiding talking to this guy, and he keeps calling me. He called three times today. So, um, I started the um, uh, interview process with Waukegan today. So, see how that works out. What's in Waukegan for me? Well, apparently you can buy a mansion for like $100,000 in Waukegan. Because yeah, and I get to live in and clean a mansion. That sounds like something you can do. <laughs> so that's our fun today. Um, have we done anything else? I don't know. It's, it's hard to vlog when all you're doing is filling out applications online. So, And i got to tell you, might as well do a rant. Um, being an HR person, I absolutely despise online applications. Uh, they're just the worst. And it seems like most companies don't have their online, own online application. It's outsourced to some other company. So I have to apply at some other company and they're asking way too much information that I don't want to give them just so that they could send my application to this other company. And to me that is so stinking lazy. What does HR do for these companies if everything's outsourced? I, the other the one that they were talking to me about has asked me if I was working with uh, POE, which is outsourcing pretty much everything human resources. So what would a human resource person do except send everything to another company? I don't get it. So company I used to work with, we did everything ourselves. Everything was done in-house, mainly because they were afraid of giving out any information to anybody because they were a very private, private company and they didn't want anybody to know anything about what they were doing. And there's a reason. And of course, I'm contracted never to divulge. But, um, um, yeah, what do you, you know, all these companies, what is an HR person going to do? They, they outsource everything. Uh, I'm being interviewed by a headhunter. That means they weren't looking for an HR person. They just paid some other company to do it. So I don't even know what company I'm, I'm uh, applying for here. I just know it's in Waukegan. What's in Waukegan for me? <laughs> There's Lake Michigan. I bet you I can buy a boat for you real cheap and you could troll around me. I wouldn't eat any fish you pull out of that place because Waukegan has um, some serious... Uh, super fun pollution issues. So, well, everybody, it's 
been a rather interesting day. <laughs> um, Megan and Brian decided not to go get checked out, so we don't have any updated information on them. I know Megan is pretty sore, and she does have a bruise on her chest. Um, so they may go tomorrow and get checked out, but um, they're with her dad right now, and they are safe. Her car is definitely totaled, um, so we're not sure what's going to happen as of yet. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. I know it's been kind of a bummer of a day, but, uh, you know, sometimes we just have those types of days, and it seems like they're getting more and more, but we're going to try our hardest to pull ourselves up and out of this rut yeah we are even if it takes moving to Waukegan whatever's there for me <laughs> me and that's right just remember that that's right and while you're at work I'll sit in the house and play with all the animals that's right <laughs> clean, clean up after them anyway if you could give this video a great big thumbs up and if you haven't already, please press that little red subscribe button down below and become a member of the neighborhood community. And share this video with your family and friends. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Hey, that's not nice. I don't care.